Today I'm trying three different attack strategies in Legends League and we're gonna be determining which one is the worst. What's up my friends, my name is Echo and welcome back to the channel where we're covering Clash of Clans and today diving into my Legends League attacks with three different strategies. The first one that we're going to be starting out with is the Lightning Dragon attack or the Zap Dragon. We're going to see today which one of the three strategies that I try is the worst one to be using in Legends League, at least the worst one for me. Before I go any further guys, make sure you sub the channel and ring the bell for regular Clash of Clans videos and always remember to use code ECHO in the shop in all Supercell games. I appreciate that support and invest everything right back into the channel. All right guys, so I'm going in on these attacks blind. I don't know the base that I'm gonna be attacking and as you can see right here, we have the Zap Dragon strategy. Seven lightning spells, one Earthquake, a Rage, a Freeze, and then one more Rage spell in the Clan Castle donation. I come in with a Stone Slammer as well with Dragon and Balloons inside. Ten Dragons, ten Balloons, two Wizards, six Minions, a Baby Dragon, and my Heroes all max level. Let's see how we can do live in a Legends attack and see if this one is the worst. So the problem with the Lightning spell, guys, is you don't always get the most value. So I have to choose whether I'm gonna take down the Eagle or whether I'm going to take down the clan castle. I have to make a choice. And I think I'm gonna go for the clan castle just because I don't know what's inside. Then I'm gonna dive on into the base right here with my king and my queen, try and take out one of those air defenses. We'll see if I can get it done. Maybe even the king over in that center compartment. Let's see. So we're gonna start with the seven lightning spells. We're gonna go right here. Let's see if I can also tag on to this. We're trying to get more value than I should be and we're gonna go like this that should take out the clan castle We got the scattershot and an air defense too. So that actually was really valuable Now we're gonna be coming on in with the king in here the queen here I saw that dead spot not sure if I'm gonna get that value out of the king that I really want to We're gonna have to pop the ability because of the inferno tower. I really wanted to take down that inferno though But I didn't okay the king did not get the value we were looking for so the problem here is I need to at least secure the two star. So I can't come in from this narrow side of the base right over here. We need to bring ourselves in from the town hall side. So what we're going to do is we're going to go with a dragon and two wizards. We're going to have to pop that queen's ability right there. We're going to go with two balloons, a bunch of dragons behind, more loons coming right on in with the warden. The champion's going to come on in over here and the slammer as well. A couple of minions to clean all that up. Popping the ability, raging everything in. What I need are for the dragons to awaken the town hall, which they did. That worked out nicely. We are getting our dragons out of there decently in time. Looks like the two star is going to be secured. Coming on in with the royal champion's ability. We're going to go right here with another rage spell, trying to get everything moving around. And as soon as we get near that scatter, we're going to be freezing all of this to try and hopefully get some of our troops to path that way. It's sometimes difficult to have them path properly, but the dragons are on top of the scatter shot. They're moving their way around. We have a bunch of dragons left, but there is one air defense left as well, which can be difficult to get around. We're gonna go with a minion in each corner, and now the dragons are just going to try and clean up what they can. But that king missed this inferno tower early on, did not allow for that to go down, which ended up taking down a dragon somewhere in the attack. And we're gonna be sitting around a 70% attack on this one. And that, to be honest with you guys, is fairly typical. I usually get between a 70 and an 80% with this strategy in Legends League. It's been a struggle to grab three stars with this strategy. So, so far, we're coming in with a 70% with the, uh, or maybe a 71% with the Lightning Dragon Attack or the Zap Dragon Attack strategy. There is the official number, but we have two more strategies to try. Let's see what's next. 
So I'm going on into my second Legends League attack, and this one is using a Yeti Smash strategy. Notice, guys, I'm going in with a Siege Barrack with Hog Riders for the back end, rather than a Yeti Bomb, which I'll sometimes do as well. This is a little more dangerous because if it's a centralized town hall, it could be hard to grab. So let's go ahead, see what we got. And this is actually a good base design. I'm gonna switch my Grand Warden to air, and we're gonna try and hit this thing up. So first of all, I need to decide where I'm gonna be using the Quad Quake. And I'm gonna be using it, I think, right here. We're gonna go with four of those Quakes right there. It's gonna open up all of that wall in perfect, keeping the town hall asleep as we go. I'm gonna start out with a Baby Dragon over here and a baby dragon over here just for funneling. I wanna make sure that they kind of, uh, you know, get things going in the right direction. Bunch of Yeti, bunch of bowlers. We're gonna go with the king, queen, warden, and the healers. Four healers going in, siege barrack in behind, popping the grand warden's ability, raging everyone into the base as quickly as we can. Waiting for, well, looks like we got a Lava Hound, which we'll put the poison on top of that nice and early. We do have the Wizards helping out, remember. We're gonna go with a Heal spell and another Rage spell here in the core, popping the King's ability and dropping a Jump spell to allow all these troops to get on through. Now, we haven't yet dropped in the Champion, because we're saving that for when the Hog Riders go on into the base, and they're gonna be coming in right now. So we're gonna have the Champion go in with the Hogs behind the Queen, Queen's ability's intact, and we are glitching out. Oh no, that's not a good idea. Here we go. Look at that. The te oh man, the, the Clan Castle troops definitely giving our, uh, our kill squad a bit of a hard time. But check it out as this Champion runs around the base with those Hog Riders, doing a good job, getting some value. The Queen is cleaning up behind. We're at 54%. Now remember, we got ourselves a 71% with those dragons. This champion is being clutch. The queen is gonna be able to clean up so much behind. We have the healers on that kill squad, waiting for the champion's ability, throwing it right there, taking out a couple of defenses, including the air defense, which would hurt those healers. Can we push through the rest of this base? We have the queen running around. We're already at a higher percentage than we had with those dragons. And the warden, will the warden shut down the inferno tower? He's being healed up, but it's getting to be short, come on. Yeti, get some Yetamite on that thing, and no, this is where it begins to fail. But notice we do have the Queen's ability, but only 59 seconds. We do have a wizard, actually, as well. He can assist with some stuff, and a goblin, but where to put them in? Let's go with the goblin over here. That should go for the dark. We're gonna go with the Queen's ability right there. I'm gonna pop in the wizard, try our best to get as high a percentage as possible. We're encroaching on the 90% mark. Queen goes down, 89%. Goblin never do, I don't even know where that goblin went. He is lost in space. But we did pull in 29 trophies and a 90% Q star. It's making this a more reliable strategy than the dragon strategy. But what's next? We have one more attack strategy that we have to test out today before I can determine which one is the worst of the three. If you haven't yet thrown a like on the video, go ahead and do it now, and don't forget to sub. So we're on to the third and final attack strategy, this one being hybrid at Town Hall 13, 11 Hog Riders, 15 Miners, five Healers, Heavy Queen charge into the base. I was taught this one by my good friend Ghost at a Space Station Gaming. Which one is going to be the worst? We got 71% with the Lightning Dragon. We got 90% with the Yeti Smash. And now we're about to see what we're gonna grab with the hybrid strategy. Now I have to figure out where I wanna go in on this base. There's a lot of outside structures that we can get to here. And I think I'm gonna start my Queen out in the western side of the base try and just kind of take out a bunch of that trash. So we're gonna go right here. We're gonna get one Coco Loon in as well, just to make sure that there's nothing in the skies. And then we're gonna go with all of those healers. We're gonna also come with a baby dragon over here. That should be a good start. Kind of get things rolling. We do have some wall breakers, although I am known for my wall breaker fails. So I'm not exactly sure how well those are gonna do and how far we're gonna get into the base with them now. The queen doing a decent job. What I wanna do is narrow down this portion of the base. I'm gonna probably send in my king right up here with a couple of wizards behind as well. And then I wanna try and get rid of this, uh, this, this clan castle. I don't wanna have to deal with that clan castle before we move on with the attack. So we're gonna go in with another wizard right here. 
couple of minions trying to clean that mess up. Let's see if we can get another balloon in to clear the skies. And we're going to try and get these wall breakers going in. Let's see what I could do here. Can we get any wall breakers in? Or we may have to be using a rage spell soon. We're going to do that. Pop the king's ability as well. We're going to get the wall breakers in. Let's see if they're going to get themselves into lore that clan castle. There we go. The queen could step on in there. Let's see if she does. We have a partial clan castle lore. Not everything that I would like to grab there, unfortunately. We're going in with the siege barrack as well. Pekka's going to come out of there and start leading the way. And uh, I didn't actually get into this base the way that I wanted to. The queen is walking herself around. So that means that we're going to be going with a couple of miners over here. Miners straight up the gut with the hog riders as well. Wizards behind. Going in with the grand warden and the champion. We have a bunch of a bunch of support right here. We're going to go with a freeze spell. We're going to go with a poison spell as well. And we're going to rage up these miners. Heal them up as well. And pretty soon, when that town hall goes down, we're popping that ability. Actually, we lost a whole bunch of stuff to that scatter shot. I am just known for doing really badly with hybrid. It, we are getting the town hall, though. Going to be raging up those miners and hogs as they path on in. Only one minion is left in the composition to clean up some stuff. But we did not get very far past those scatter shots. It was slamming down on all of those... Miners and Hog Riders, my goodness, I should have used the Grand Warden's ability a lot earlier on. Although, even though it didn't go very well, we ended with a 74% two-star, which is not the lowest percentage out of all the attacks we had today. Before we get into the results, I want to remind you guys to use code ECHO when you buy gems or your season pass inside of Clash of Clans or any other Supercell game. All of that money goes directly back into the channel and keeps me alive here on YouTube. So thank you guys so much for your support. And here we are looking at the final three strategies. We had the minor attack up top with those hog riders, AKA the hybrid. We have the Yeti smash in the middle and down below we had the dragon attack. The lowest percentage, the lowest amount of trophies obtained on these attacks was that of the dragon, the lightning dragon attack strategy, the zap dragon. So in today's testing, although the zap dragon is not my least favorite of all these strategies, it has proven to be the worst attack strategy of the three that we tested out today in Legends League. What you guys need to do is let me know if you want to see more videos like this, testing out different strategies and seeing how well they do at multiple different Town Hall levels because we can do them all. But for today, the Lightning Dragon strategy is the loser. I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Thanks so much for sticking around till the end and check out some of these videos before you go. Have a good day and be good.